Hey my loves, welcome in. It is day six of Embodying the Goddess. My name is Tiara Chardé. I am a prophetic oracle, ordained minister, certified master life coach, best-selling author, and CEO and founder of Embodying the Goddess. We are a temple and mystery school honoring and restoring the path of the goddess, honoring and restoring the path of the priestess. So on day six of Embodying the Goddess series, we're going to talk about sacred sexuality. And I know sacred sexuality gets a bad rep. People think that you're being, you know, raunchy or blasphemous or all the things like that. But sacred sexuality is really a major part of goddess spirituality and honoring the sacred mother. I feel for many years, so many people have been corrupting this principle of sacred sexuality. They have been exploiting themselves and others through sexual expression. And it's important to know that goddess spirituality really honors sex and intimacy and pleasure. It's a big part of goddess spirituality. I feel that if the goddess was taught and spoke about in mainstream media, that there would be less crimes um assaults things like that there would be no stds or any of that there would be no single family households there would be no um just perversions the way that we see them because the goddess is all about the holiness that comes through sexual expression and sexual intimacy and it's one of the things that really spoke to me y'all because for those of you who have read the book, um, The Pussy Portal, Healing with Pleasure, it's in the anthology, Ancient Future Unity. You can purchase it through my website or through Amazon. In my book, The Pussy Portal, I talk about innately understanding sexual pleasure and intimacy, innately understanding that pleasure was a big part of my spiritual path. Y'all shout out to the, the cat. <laughs> <laughs> She's here again, y'all. Um, I understood that pleasure was a big part of my path, that it was um, an initiation for me. I won't get into the details of my story because you're going to have to pick up the book and also reach out to me if you would like a signed copy. But sensuality and pleasure was the portal that I went through to understanding who I am as a woman because the pleasure is what heals. The pleasure is what activates. As long as you have that understanding and that awareness. So for me, it was experiencing pleasure, but doing it in a sacred way. Before I even knew I was doing it in a sacred way, I would pray. I would meditate. I would cry. I would release a lot of energy that was plaguing me. And then as I grew up and went deeper grew up spiritually as well and went deeper on my path I realized like oh my gosh this pleasure actually activated this code in me and this code in me and I'm super psychic now or I'm super tapped into sensual sacral chakra energy because of this pleasure so in embodying the goddess within our, our mystery school we're going to talk about sacred sexuality and how to use it to release sexual trauma to um, connect with our intellect and our spirituality, how to use our pleasure to guide us on our soul's purple purpose path. And now it's not necessarily something that we will cultivate with another person right off the bat. This practice of sacred sexuality that I teach, it's for yourself. It's something that you do in sacred solo ritual to connect to the divine, to connect to your womb space, and to connect with your higher self. Those areas that hold um, information on how we're supposed to move forward with our path, information on how we activate our soul's purpose. Okay, so in this space, we release personal and ancestral traumas, sexual traumas um, specifically, as well as all others. Okay, so within the framework within this framework we have um many different protocols that i include many different modalities 
because I'm understanding that many of us, we went through certain things in our life that can make it challenging to tap into this aspect of um, goddess spirituality and embodying the goddess. So I basically hold your hand. I wrap my arms around you and we go through this together. We go through the portals of any pain, any traumas, yours or the ancestors, as well as other women, because I find that many women are able to tap into the consciousness of their sisters, right? We talked about that on um, day three and four, tapping into womb consciousness. Many women have that skill, the coding to tap into the consciousness of other wombs and pick up the traumas or the thoughts, um, the pain points of other women. So this is a practice that I like to do with the women in the program, um, with the women in my community, because it is something that requires a lot of support and a lot of understanding. Okay. So through sacred sexuality, we're going to learn how to expand our consciousness, expand our reach, expand our comfortability, experiencing pleasure, expand our prosperity. And y'all, every single time I tap into sacred sexuality, things happen in my physical reality. Um, more money, better experiences, better treatment from other people. If I already wasn't being treated well, it'd be more blessings, more doors and portals opening up. And other women have experienced this too. I feel that with the indigenous woman, there has been a lot of harm done to her sacral chakra as well as her heart chakra, her root chakra. So when we address those things, we free up the woman. She is more able to embody her inner goddess because there's no blockages. There's no evil demonic energies attached to her, which will keep her stuck and keep her unable to be, you know, and operate in her fullest potential. So that is what we're doing. And um, I'm super excited to share that with you all. I walk you through it. Um, some women blush at this. Some women dive straight in. Some women do experience some difficulty because her sexual expression was only meant for another person. Or she was taught that it was only meant for another person or her man or her lover. And we completely annihilate that. And we unlearn and learn you to understand that your sexual pleasure is for yourself first and foremost it is another avenue for you to tap into your divinity so this is a very very um deep thing that we do but with a lot of work and practice and resources and support you'll be able to understand sexual sacred sexuality and how it can truly benefit your spiritual life all right, y'all. So that is day six of Embodying the Goddess. Oh my goodness. We're almost there. We have one more day. Thank you everyone for tapping in. Thank you for your emails. Thank you for your donations, for signing up to other workshops and programs. Um, this journey really has inspired many people to tap into the other offerings that we have at the Mystery School and Temple. And it also inspired people to create their own spiritual practice and understanding different aspects about themselves. So I'm truly excited that, you know, I was obedient to the divine and I moved forward with this series. Okay, so I will see you tomorrow. It is our final day of embodying the goddess. Oh my gosh, we are almost at day seven. Um, make sure you leave your comments below. I love to hear from you. Make sure you're signing up. Go to tiarachardet.com. Click on work with me. Scroll down to embodying the goddess within, which is our mystery school. We are enrolling right now. And I do offer special perks and discounts for those of you who have tapped into the series. So make sure you hit me up. I will see you soon. Peace and love. Have a beautiful, beautiful day.